Hey guys, your next lesson is going to be a little bit of coloring and a little bit of watercolor. Um, we're going to show how you can use crayons as a resistance to watercolor. Um, I am going to choose to do flowers for mine um, just because it's springtime. It's beautiful outside right now. Um, if you are more into different kind of things, that's totally fine. You can do a pattern, um, a scene. You can draw anything that you want. The main thing is um, the way that you draw it. And then we're gonna use watercolor for our background, okay? So I will show y'all um, with the flowers, but like I said, you're welcome to do whatever you would like. So I'm gonna start with a pink. So whatever color you start with, you wanna start drawing and see how this is kind of a lighter line. We wanna really make sure that it's filled in. So these are light and I'm gonna go over them. And I'm not filling my flower in all the way cause I'm gonna use some watercolor for it. you want to fill the page up, but not completely. Um, so I'm just gonna do flowers around. Mine's not really a scene. Um, if you want to do a scene, that's totally fine. And I'm just using a lot of different bright colors um, because they show up really well when you go back with the watercolor on top of it. So like I said, make sure these lines are really, really dark on the page. Do some blue flowers too. and maybe some green leaves in there. You can almost hear the wax coming off the paper because of how hard I'm bearing down on my flowers. I'm even gonna get, I think like a gray and just do some designs also. So mine's kind of an abstract flowers. All right, so I've got plenty of wax on here. You can kind of, if you have some residue, you can rub that off. So the next step, depending on if you did a scene or if you did something abstract, if you did a pattern, um, you can do your watercolors in a different way. So a lot of you have used watercolor before, but some people might have not. So you have a watercolor set that looks similar and you're gonna have your brushes of different sizes and your water. So that's, you just need water to activate your watercolor set. And I'm gonna use this red orange over here. You wanna use lots of water. If you have a little um, covering from it, you can mix colors on here. So like I can mix from this orange that was already there. 
You want lots of water. That's how you're going to activate them, and you need lots of it. So I'm going to color in these flowers, and you can see you just color right on top of the crayon. And the wax from the crayon creates a resistance for the watercolor, so it only fills in where there was paper. I'm gonna get a brighter one. I'm gonna mix this yellow here and get a brighter orange. And I'm gonna fill in these. I really like that color. I'm gonna go back and get another little bit of the red and fill these flowers in. And if you wanna do multicolor flowers, you can. So you can use a little red there. You can put yellow. And again, if you did a different scene or if you did a pattern, you're just gonna fill it in the same way that I am. I mostly just want to show y'all how to use the crayon and the watercolor together. And if it's your first time using watercolor, the different ways that you can mix the colors. And I can't stress enough to not be afraid to add too much water. So I've got a nice green. That might be a little dark for my taste, so I'm gonna add a little yellow to it and make it really bright green. Fill these in. And then I'll get a darker green to fill in these leaves. And I've got one more blue flower over here. He kind of stands out. I want to get a light blue. So even though this is a dark color here, the more water you add, the lighter your color is going to get. So the wax makes it very easy to stay in the lines too. Okay, so I've colored in all of my flowers and I think I'm gonna do green for the background so then it looks kind of like you're looking down on flowers that are in the grass, um, kind of like a bird's eye view. So I'm gonna start with the middle and use this medium to small brush. And I'm gonna use a really light green for the middle. So you wanna fill in these spaces. You don't want any white left over at the end. So once I filled in these tighter spots, I'm gonna get a little bit of a bigger brush. Mix some new green and start on the edges and fill in from there. So you can see, you just paint right on top of that wax. And your green or whatever color you choose for your background, each time you mix it, it's gonna be a little bit different, but that's okay because we kinda want to see the texture of the paint. 
So you can see the lines where I put it down each time. That's gonna give your background a little bit of texture and that's all right. I like to stick with one direction to paint the background. So I wanna go up and down instead of going up and down. Some of it's like this, some of it's like this. I really like to stick just with one direction. So whichever direction you start with, it would be best if you did all of it. I just got a little bit more. There we go. So you can see the textures here that I was talking about before. And there's a little bit of white space here and there. I prefer that, um, but you're welcome to fill in these little spots if you like that better. But now you know how to use crayons as resistance to watercolor. Um, and you also got a little watercolor lesson in between.